this whole thing, this whole thing is the tip. Hey guys, this video is about the Standliner Universal Crane and how I used it down the door. I've been trying to shoot an intro for this video for uh, a little while now and I have a whole bunch of clips for it. So I think what I'm going to do is just show you the video and at the end there'll be a bunch of the clips where I talk about the tool and it's just a discussion about how the Standliner tools, like the general shape of this tool and how the general idea of Standliner tools work down the door and twisting. Now, when I got trained in Lithuania, um, we mainly worked on a top panel application. And at that time, the killer wheel was like the new, the new thing for CAS. So I didn't do a whole lot of work uh, uh, down the door or, or in tight situations. It was more about creases and large damage and samurai technique. Um, so some of this I kind of uh, figured out on my own, but which is a really good process because it kind of gave me a better understanding of uh, their techniques and how they all integrate together. So hopefully when you see this video and see how the uh, metal moves that it's going to be an eye opener for you because this is, this is the moment and I happened to capture it three years ago that I kind of, um, it turned a light bulb on for me. So, uh, pardon the video, it was shot on my cell phone, my old cell phone three years ago. Uh, I was working on a gravel lot at, at an auction site in a tent um, and about 100 meters away from a compost pile. So, humble beginnings, but uh, it was a great place for me to experiment. Um, I was left alone and had dents to fix and tools to use. So. Hopefully you check out the video and stay to the end if you want to hear a discussion about how they work. Anyways, thanks again for watching and I really appreciate you guys checking things out on the last video. I really appreciate the comments and the views so, um, and the subscriptions. Thank you. Take care guys. Enjoy. See the dragging action? This is from the crane, the shape of the crane. I'm just twisting it. You know, I want a little extra oomph. Give it a push twist. So these kind of tips kind of get, it's kind of similar to a drag, but it's kind of built into the twist as you go. Super interesting. find this happens a lot where the door narrows and we're close to the edge edges because that space is getting uh, tighter and as you get it pinches in towards the end of the doors a little bit of anticipation required to know where it gets to its peak. Pardon the grunts. Even here, it's getting a different kind of push. It's a lot, I have to put a lot more power into it, I guess because the door is a bit thicker there. So basically I got up, I can uh, go ahead and knock down now. For detailed little spots, like right there.
arrows. Got the reverse razor in there now. Oh, some guys are calling this the penguin. Oops, a little too far out. A little bit less of a drag. Roll. After a while, they all seem kind of related to each other. Pulling the metal from outside towards the low. I remember talking to some people about this particular tool and they're just, it's, it's really strange because like how would you use this tip? Um, but we have to consider that this whole, this whole part here, this whole arc is the tip and we can use um, all of it. So not only pushing with the edge of it, but all these, uh, this nice soft radius here um, to your advantage. So, um, so this is basically a double bend and then with the tip is here, where a traditional tip is just, is just uh, this part. So that's a big difference. Um, this part isn't about access necessarily, it's about a pushing surface. I just want to segue, segue a little bit into the, uh, the shape of uh, the standliner tools. Um, a lot of the tools have this general theme, um, and I call it the church window church window cross section. So this is the snake. It's a pretty simple looking tool if you're looking at it from here. But uh, let's take a look at it as if we cut this thing across, cross section and looking down into it. So what you'll see is that it's a church, uh, church window shape. And um, not only like the very tip of it would part. Um, so not only, I know this has been established already, but not only are we pushing with that part, but I really like to use the side of it too. And also just off of the very tip, there's a specific radius you can use. And it's like, it's awesome. So it's sort of a, it's like a hard tip push. So you can lift the metal without causing extra stretch. Okay guys, just one more point. I was just watching it over again and I realized I didn't talk about this. And this, this is a message I want to get across. So like a, the tool like the crane, like say, you have control of which part of the tool you're using most of the time. Um, so for instance, if I start the contact, if I'm starting a repair and I'm contacting the panel with this part, depending on which way I twist the tool, um, will determine which way the metal rolls. So I have this marked out in red and green. So in this video um, that I'm gonna show you today, I am rolling it this way. So it's rolling this direction that's parallel to the shaft of the tool. Um, and then when you twist it the other way, it actually roll, it can roll it almost perpendicular, perpendicular this way to the shaft of the tool. So um, in, this, in this video, I've got the double bend universal crane uh, down the door, and I'm actually rolling it along this red line vertically. And it just ha so happened, it's a vertical, vertical dent in the tool. So it actually rolls the metal uh, vertical in parallel with the crease. Um, so it's a really versatile tool and hopefully you guys try some of the things I've been talking about 
and always like don't give up. Like there's so many great things uh, to these tools, and they just keep on giving. So um, I know you already know how to push with the, the, the sharp hump of this tool, the blade part, but uh, try the other parts of the tool because it's, it's pretty awesome too. Anyways, thanks guys. Thanks for checking out this video and uh, we'll catch you next time. Peace. Uh, with this tool, I forgot what I was gonna say.